Hello guys, welcome to what is not a new episode, but what is an update episode. Um, this episode or this little video, we are not going to be doing any construction. I'm just going to, uh, first of all, apologize since it's been a week since I've actually released my last video. Um, it's not that I've been slack or anything like that. I've just been doing um, a little bit of, a lot of work actually on this city. Um, just very time-consuming stuff that with the previous series you actually didn't feel or didn't see actually happen because I pre-recorded pretty much the first 40 episodes um, of that series. Um, however, this series, uh, it's been going pretty well actually, although uh, what I've, well, what we did was we got to a stage where I was not very happy uh, to just keep progressing the city just at random. I wanted to make sure that once we reached a certain stage that we would actually start focusing on making things properly like say for example our industrial area which we placed just randomly and even though we were working on it during the week on Twitch uh, I'm still not very happy with it and I've come up with a couple of solutions that will make the industry work a lot better than what we currently have um, which I will eventually come to show you guys but uh, I'll do a quick update of what we have done since the last episode on uh, YouTube, of course. So our farmlands are pretty much all done and completed. Uh, we only have a little bit of work on Millbrook and Beavermead, but they're only like adding trees to the like the borders of the uh, actual towns. So no, no actual work inside the farms actually have to be done. Traffic is fine. We've got no problems with traffic. The farms look beautiful. They're all different colors here and there some have little uh, vine bushes or uh, they look like vine bushes anyway they're only designed bushes like that um, but yeah uh, the ramps are working very well we've got like little beautiful picturesque areas like this where we've got the rail line there you go rail line right here right next to the road and it's been fenced off and it's got a few bushes as well on either side and it just makes things look a little very pretty and this is the kind of stuff that we've been doing whilst uh, we were away on Twitch and it's like this, the stuff that this is it just takes a lot of time and it's quite boring in some respects some people may really enjoy it but uh, I, I believe that the majority of you would kind of be not too interested in watching trees being placed for hundreds of hours literally and so I've done that on Twitch and so you guys can catch up on that unfortunately sometimes uh, I'll during the live streams I do listen to like to listen to a bit of music so sometimes due to copyright problems the, the audio might be muted and I apologize for that um, but yeah this kind of stuff like we'll just continue the simulation you can see how beautiful that looks so it's just these little details that we've been adding that people take for granted. Um, they just build the rail line, build a, tr a road, and then yeah, all is well. But I've been adding like a lot of little details in between. So we've got our little towns here. Uh, and even over here, we've got our little cargo depot. And over here, we still have fencing right here, right next to the road in between. We've got a couple of bushes. And then even if we jump all the way out over here, close to this highway we've got the railway line completely protected away from you know the the railway and the actual forestry industry that we've got over here at eucalyptus grove so it's little things like that that we've been actually working on during our twitch streams now the next thing that i'd like to mention is uh we've also been working on our main islands where the downtown area is going to be and this is where it's all going to be happening all our main skyscrapers office buildings commercial buildings this is where it's all going to happen now uh this took a lot of time to do this actually took me all day to do all these islands and even like the canal slash rivers through here um i had to lower the terrain because i wanted to make sure that the actual like uh uh these little shorefront uh, paths as low as possible to the actual um, water as so uh, we've had to lower the whole entire island pretty much or terrain that was actually all joined up but we've made it into an island through these little rivers or canals and we've pretty much just using the we've used the sunken t uh, the sunken um, uh, highway mods to be able to do this 
And then we've been slowly negotiating in planning out also a lot of the main highways which are going to be running through the heart of the city. And uh, over here we've implemented also our international airport. Now it's a little bit buggy. We've got issues where we've got a lot of airplanes arriving um, with zero passengers and we get a lot of airplanes um, but at first when we placed it we were only utilizing one airstrip both airstrips weren't working but now for some reason I played around with it here and there deleted it, built it again, deleted it, built it again and it ended up working so um, as you can see we're getting a lot of airplanes but most of them actually have zero passengers on board it's a bit frustrating but what can you do but I'm happy that we're at least we're getting utilization out of both runways. So that's something that I'm very pleased with. Um, there's a cool asset, new uh, cool assets called the rock assets, or I think it's called the rock, and they come in clumps, and so you can just place them like this around, uh, like uh, pretty much between the water and the actual uh, side of this little hill, and it just adds looks like like a natural, um, or not a natural, but a, a permanently, unpurposely placed uh, like kind of rock barrier to protect the, the land and the soil from erosion uh, from the runway. So we've added that. Uh, the airport is still yet to be completed. We still need to work on this area. We did build, however, a little bit of a uh, development over here with um, a few industry, sorry, a few office spaces, but we're going to get rid of this because I don't like it. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually chop this whole area off. And what we're going to do is just make this island, the airport and this highway connection. And something that I was actually asked to do is to perhaps something that connects like similar to between um, Copenhagen in Denmark to Spain. Oh, it's not, sorry, not Spain, uh, Sweden. And what they have is a tunnel bridge. So what we have is a bridge which comes from our original neighborhoods around over here. And they jump onto this bridge and we've done the double decker, double decker stacking system again and then what we've done is it splits up and goes into a tunnel and then the tunnel goes underneath the bay and then kind of follows the curvature around of this island right here and then we've got a couple temporary exit points over here just so that you guys can see and then it curves around and goes into a bit of a sunken highway uh, area over here now I don't want to do the, the whole area sunken I only wanted to incorporate just a little bit, just a very small amount, just to show and prove that we can actually also make a sunken highway, just so that we've got that ability. But the most, the best achievement that I reckon so far is these bridges. These bridges are actually not bridges, they're actually just little decorative assets. And uh, what I had to do is similar with the double decker stacking system is float the bridges so the highway is actually floating so there's no pillars underneath and it just gives the impression that the actual highway is being held up by these suspension cables and, I, and I've added a couple of my own custom lighting to the bridges so at night they look absolutely spectacular and that's something you will definitely be able to see in the near future once we get into developing this area and start the day night cycles as well. Um, one thing that I'm going to try to do is also I've downloaded a mod where you can modify the shipping lanes. So the shipping lanes, we're going to try and add a shipping lane through the actual canal or the river here and actually add a port if possible. So that's one of the projects that we're also going to be looking at. So there's a lot of things to do. But yeah, like I said, this island and all islands took me one whole day just to complete to make it right. So... There's no way I would have been able to do this on YouTube with like say that could have been as easily like seven, eight episodes of frustrating episodes of pretty much doing this exactly the same thing. So I don't really want to release that in that fashion. So I want to get all this really hard and difficult stuff out of the way. If so, I can later do a tutorial. I know I've been saying that I'm going to be doing these tutorials and I apologize. I haven't because it's just been too focused on this city uh, with the limited amount of time that I have. But I will try. I promise I really will try and get at least some sort of tutorial out on maybe the highways or even the dam or even like how I made these canals or slash rivers so uh, one thing that also got suggested was I could include a few rivers into neighborhood areas so that's something that I'm actually going to start experimenting with on this side of the city so I've made a bit of a large river around over here and or not river a bit of a large lake and i'm going to surround this whole entire lake with neighborhoods so and even the, like the inside areas like this island in in between so hopefully that turns out really really good um now 
Also, one thing that I also want to do was challenge myself a little bit with my highway construction building because I've seen quite a lot of posts on the actual Skylines uh, networking page on Facebook where a lot of people have been interested in the diverging diamond interchange. And that's actually something that I've been experimenting with. I did modify a little bit. It doesn't really look like a diamond because I wanted to make sure that the um, ramps are all nice and smooth. Um, and so this is what I've come up with. It works essentially exactly the same like a diverging diamond interchange. And well, what can I say? It works absolutely fantastically well. So far, I've had no hiccups. So I'm surprised uh, that, you know, it works so well. Initially though, I was going to use this uh, with the one directional six lane avenues, but then I decided it's way too big for this sort of an area. So I've gone back on that and just decided to use the true true lane one way streets. Now this industry, we've as you can see, we've demolished our basic industry that we had over here. And we started developing the proper industry, but don't worry, this is, well, you're not gonna worry, but this is actually not gonna be what it looks like. Um, when we come back next episode for episode eight, uh, which will be on Thursday, I won't be uh, doing as much Twitch streaming on Thursday, maybe an hour at max, um, and they'll be relatively late on during the day once this whole industry area is done. What I wanna do is on Thursday, I'm gonna be focusing on uh, developing this in industrial area um, so that we can have better network connections uh, with the roads because at the moment there's quite a few intersections here that don't have actual traffic lights. And so what I'm gonna be doing is implement um, a better road structure here so that we can um, make just in general better connections and uh, so that we don't have to use like little tricks like say get rid of traffic lights so that's something to be planned and we also we want to include like uh, little facilities such as like uh, these these things such as um, uh, uh, the train stations which are elevated so we can actually you know get our passengers to these industrial area as well so that's a little thing that we're going to try and focus on a little bit as well um, this uh, today actually is Thursday and so we actually were working on this interchange this was also a part of a new challenge for myself I've actually never done interchanges with like uh, Connections that actually pass the highway, then loop around, and then join back onto the highway, which goes into the other direction. So that was a bit of a challenge for myself, which I have pretty much done fairly well, I think. I'm very happy with the results. Um, it's got a couple of um, simple, easy connections, which just cross the highway over the top, and then we've got the loops on either side. So it's rather symmetrical, but yet yeah, it's not perfectly symmetrical because... Uh, one side of the highway is actually down on a slant on a hill so we've tried our best to keep things as even as possible and as smooth as possible and one of the things that i'm most happy about is this circular um motion right here with this highway because it's on a hill so i had to mess around with a lot of lots of different heights until it was just right as you can see it's absolutely perfectly smooth so i'm very very happy with the way that turned out um, something that we're going to also be focusing on is potentially adding another highway connection over here which will run into the industrial area but that will be in episode 8 once we start clearing all this out and start redeveloping properly um, you may see that we've got some large factories over here even like uh, cargo facilities and that's exactly what they are um, they're like little assets that we've downloaded and just added um, they add to the actual just general industry area um, they make it makes it look very very nice I believe so uh, yeah that's uh, that uh, we've got a couple of companies the TNT and DHL uh, we've added a couple of assets such as nice little avenue bridges which cross the highway which actually don't actually have like connections to the highway they just cross so nice little touches here and there so we're actually working spending a lot more time on the actual designing factors of this city um, and then we've got Redmond, our first little neighborhood on the other side of the city, which was actually suggested to be redeveloped since last episode, uh, since last uh, series of uh, Santa Cancelo. So I've still got lots of viewers from last series following, and I'm very happy. And n not only that, I'm very happy that you guys are still chipping in at ideas. So thank you for that. Um, 
And that's about it, guys. So we're going to have a busy schedule when we get back. So in episode 8, we're essentially going to be removing this industrial area over here and redeveloping it properly where we can actually connect it with this highway and have a maybe like a little bit of a neighborhood around here as well. So the industri industry gets a bit compact in between uh, and closed in by a few neighborhoods, surrounding neighborhoods. Um, and over here we did do a little bit of work as well. This is like one of the main complex interchanges near the downtown area, which just pretty much connects quite a few things, uh, three different highways joining up together. Um, I did try and do a little bit of work in this complex that Yuto did, um, and that was involving stacking highways one on top of the other, and that's exactly what I've done over here. And they're actually not being utilized yet because the highways are actually not connected down on the other end. But um, yeah, the actual stacking of highways has turned out pretty well. So I've got one highway over here, which uh, jumps onto this ramp, and then this ramp jumps over the top of the other ramp, which essentially came from another highway. And then the bottom ramp actually just connects back to the highway, and the other one moves on its course to connect to the other highway. So we've got a little few nice little touches like that that I've actually tried to implement a bit of Yuto's work from his uh, other series by stacking highways just to make things a little bit more condensed as well uh, while implementing obviously my own work. So I got this uh, idea from Yuto when I was watching his series and I thought yeah that could definitely work uh, right here in this situation so I tried to implement that as best as possible. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much what we've been up to. It's been lots of, we probably could have done about 10 if not more episodes worth of, uh, at least, worth of just planting trees and modifying terrain and placing these shorefront uh, uh, little beach, uh, these little paths and constantly remodding and moving uh, like these uh, uh, terraforming all these grounds and then adding all these little uh, assets just to make the design look nice and then they were not actually even level so we would essentially re-terraform and then replace and then re-terraform until we got it right and it was just really took forever to do so that's why it, I haven't been doing any YouTube stuff I've been trying to get this out of the way so that when we come back all the actual hard stuff and boring and long and arduous stuff is done so that when we come back uh, for next episode we can get back to work on actually developing the city whilst designing. So all that really hard design work has kind of been done. Um, we still have quite a few connections here and there, uh, highway connections that we still have to do. Um, but that will also happen during the streams. Uh, I will try perhaps include some during the actual episodes as well so you guys can see some of the new techniques that I've picked up especially with the new mods that I'm using um, that I didn't use in Santa Cangelo and I think that about wraps up what we have been doing um, I apologize once again guys that has been a week since last episode I'm just throwing this episode or this little update quickly together to be able to keep you guys in the loop about what's going on and what to expect next so on Thursday so uh, this Thursday which is like uh, in two days time or when this video is re uh, released tomorrow which is Tuesday so yeah in two days time essentially um, I will be doing recordings on our new industrial area because once we build that industrial area we will we will have a lot of development um, by having a lot more dent, uh, requirements for residential uh, demand so that's it guys um, sorry once again I know I've said it now too many times oh but before we leave quickly one more thing that something that I'm really proud of is I don't know if I mentioned this last episode, but we've added a business park and we've put highways through the actual business park right here as a sort of a, like a little bit of a special monument sort of a thing, entry point into our beautiful neighborhoods around over here. So yeah, it's a nice little touch, I think. And I hope you guys enjoy it too. Um, if you want to know uh, how this, you can do this, I will show you. I guess I can really show you. It's very simple. Uh, it just need, requires you to have a couple of mods and that's about it. Then you can just go as crazy as you want and as creative as you want. 
so there we go guys that's it um till thursday i guess for now uh any of you guys that are new people watching this channel please don't forget to subscribe also like the facebook page i usually always try and put up any uh updates or photos of the current content that's being developed in the city and also try and post up when i'm recording uh when i'm actually uploading new videos so when you guys can expect new videos to show up anytime soon or even when i'm streaming online that way you guys can stay in touch I like the twitch page so if you're online and you've got nothing else to do and I'm and it so happens that I'm actually online streaming you're more than welcome to come in and join the party um, to see some further development live not on YouTube but actually live so that's it guys um, for now take care I'll see you all very very soon bye bye